for the serious gamer. Hey guys, it's Spider by NextGenTactics.com, and this is Halo Reach, just a little preview of video coverage that we're going to provide for you guys when it comes out this coming Tuesday. September 14th, yes, that's right, this campaign and all this footage, footage is actually taken from uh, ODST, uh, the campaign, been playing through it a little bit, just get used to the controls, get used to, the, you know, a little bit of the story behind what's uh, going to happen here in uh, Reach, which uh, is going to be a prequel to the entire Halo series, should be interesting, although I haven't really played the <laughs> Halo series, but I'm actually... I, I like I like the game. I like this gameplay. Um, I mean, maybe not walking through the streets of uh, I think it's New Mombasa, um, but you know, actually going through the events uh, for each of the squad members or whatever that dropped in and figuring out what the hell happened to them. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool. The gameplay is good. Uh, there's. We're actually playing on Legendary, if you can believe it, uh, right here anyway. And uh, playing with other people on Legendary is actually not too bad at all, uh, at least from what i found so far on uh, Reach. Although I think uh, having to do it, <laughs> here I am, I don't know what the hell this thing's called, but it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm just trying to tr learn how to drive it right now. But... Um, <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to Halo Reach, and we got a bunch of guys in our live stream that, that are ready to play it. The multiplayer, I've been playing some Halo 3 multiplayer. Again, just getting used to the controls and everything, and uh, having a lot of fun. We played the 2v2 ranked matches uh, this morning, and they're actually quite good. And uh, I got a, actually a full game that I'm going to post up here, probably shortly after this video goes up. Uh, a little bit of uh, oddball action with uh, me one, and one of our uh, live stream subs. But, uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to covering the campaign for Halo Reach. Um, I, it should be good. I mean, the only, I think the only downside is that we kind of know what's going to happen. Um, which, whatever, I mean, they can still make it epic. So, you know, I guess we'll wait and see. The other thing we're going to do, oh, we got a few things we're going to do here. Multiplayer. So this is a little Team Slayer, and uh, I get on a bit of a streak here. Um, you know, I... The thing I'm just trying to get used to is the bunny hopping, and you know I think that's what Halo 3 was sort of all about is the bunny hopping, I guess. Um, but I mean, we ran into it. We played a few games this morning, and you know, this one team was just that's all they were doing was just up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it you know it takes a little getting used to. Uh, but you know, I I, I think I did fairly well, but I'm going to be playing this a hell of a lot more uh, up to the release of Halo Reach, and then once Halo Reach comes out, I'll, I'll be doing the campaign initially. Guns for Hire will be doing a lot of uh, the multiplayer initially, and then once I'm done with the campaign, Legendary, of course, and who knows how long that's going to take me. I hear Halo 3 was pretty damn difficult. We'll see what Reach is like, but hey, I'm all for uh, completing difficult things. That's it. Hey, hey, Frank, nice. Get some kills. Woo! Anyways, uh, Firefight. And I played, uh, actually on the same map, I played Firefight uh, a while back, but it was really, uh, it was just on normal difficulty. It just kept going on and on and on and on. And I ended up just basically quitting. I mean, obviously normal difficulty is not going to be much of a challenge. And this thing goes on forever. I mean, it's like Nazi zombies, although I found that on normal difficulty, it really didn't get any more, like it didn't get progressively more difficult. It was just sort of the same difficulty, just different units that would come and attack and stuff. Uh, but we're actually playing on Legendary right now. And uh, this is sort of near the beginning of the match. And uh, I do okay, but yeah, I didn't last that long on Legendary. Nice. That was a headshot. Sweet. A little sidearm action going. Agency style. Okay, achievements. We're going to be covering every single achievement. I'm going to we're going to run through every single mission on legendary. We're going to run through all the the in mission achievements as well. Uh firefight, multiplayer, and then there's some uh, daily and weekly challenges. There's one each for the completing a daily challenge and completing a weekly challenge. So we're going to we're going to do all this stuff. And I'm actually going to put together a little uh achievement 
uh, guide, so to speak, prior to release. So it's, I, I guess you can call it an achievement preview. We're going to go through each of them and sort of uh, look at, okay, how are we going to approach this? How are we going to do it? Um, basically, it's going to be a, a kind of a roadmap without having the game, without knowing it and playing it, but it's going to be sort of a roadmap as to how we're going to achieve our 1,000 gamer score. And uh, that's it. So, yes, and September 14th, we got a nice little announcement coming out for you either uh, Thursday, September 9th, and or Friday, September 10th. Guns and I will be doing a live event. Not live streaming, a live, like in person. We'll give you some more details in that video, so look for it. Uh, either on the 9th or the 10th, and it's kind of related to Halo Reach. So stay tuned, guys. I'm Spudby for NextGenTactics.com, and I'm out.